All right, guys. So I brought the dump truck in. Gonna do a little bit of greasing. He's greasing pretty bad. Uh, so anyway. So we did uh, about an acre mulching job yesterday. If I can put it in the before and after, because I got a few before and after pictures, I'll I'll put those in. Uh, but anyway, we've done an acre and we had a decent day. We it was kind of aggravating really. Um, sorry, back my door here. Uh, it was kind of somewhat aggravating in the sense that uh, it was on steep lot going to a, the lake and there's a lot of red clay and red dirt. Um, so, so we slid around and slipped around most of the day. Um, yeah, that's what we've done. So here for a little while now, I've been thinking about going a different way with this little venture I've started. Uh, that's turned into way more than I thought it would ever be. Um, you know, I got into this just brush cutting with a skid steer. I wanted a skid steer because I was kind of doing a little work around here. Um, and I needed uh, something to pick things up heavy. Um, I thought about buying a loader for this tractor. And um, it's just a, a two-wheel drive. Um, it's just two-wheel drive, 5210. Good little tractor. Um, Anyway, at the time, I didn't know if this was going to be my tractor or not, so I didn't really want to put any money into it, uh, no more than I had to. So, anyway, I thought about buying me my own tractor, and I got to thinking, well, I really don't need a tractor, per se. I don't need to do tractor things. I, a skid steer would be, would be the best thing for me, probably, so. You know, I wasn't want nothing crazy, nothing big. Um, I decided about a 60 horse machine. I didn't want a cab in there, uh, you know, just in case I got a little job here or there for a neighbor or whatnot. I, I like to have, I wanted to just, I just wanted a cab in there. So I splurged and I got me a little T190 Bobcat. Uh, it was a good machine. I had 1200 hours on it, cab air. It was hand and foot control. That's what I learned to run years ago. When I learned to run a skid steer, we wasn't very many joystick control machines around, or there wasn't any around here. Most everybody had old bobcats with hand and foot controls or a case with the forward and back and the H pattern, I guess you call it. I can't run one of those. Uh, and if you can, there's something wrong with you in the mind. <laughs> so anyway, I got that skid steer and uh, a friend of mine down here, had he watches my channel he knows who he is he had a 299 uh cat uh and he was mulching actually doing the mulching thing and he had had a brush cutter on a previous machine he had got he just told me said you know you buy you a skid steer if you want to uh sorry about that guys if you want to my low battery thing came up so i just click close he said if you want to um do some brush cutting jobs, you know, if you get that thing and just need help making a payment, I'll, I'll throw you some brush cutting jobs. You can use my cutter or you can, until you can get you one and do your own. I said, hey, okay. So, uh, we did that and that rocked on for a while and all my jobs gotten to be, you know, bigger jobs. The, the 190 really didn't work out well for brush cutting. It ran hot. So we, I decided to buy a little bigger machine and I bought a SVL 75 Kubota. I don't know if I've talked about all this in any more videos, but I'm telling it now uh, with a brush cutter and it, it done good too, you know. Um, but there again, it was just things I was getting into was just too big for a brush cutter to tackle and I wound up screwing up the bearing housing in that cutter. It was a CID. Good cutter, very good cutter. Uh, just they're meant for what they're meant for. And uh, we were pushing it to its limits, I mean. When you're cutting trees that big around, you know, it's not really meant for that. They might advertise it, but they're not. 
and I knew better. I knew better than to be doing it. But you know, you think, well, I'll just do this in this one time, it won't matter. And then that one time turns into 50 more times or a hundred more times or how many ever. So I decided, well, maybe I should just go to a high flow brush cutter. Not wanting to intrude on any of their business, mulching business, I bought a uh, Takahuchi TL-10 with a gra Bradco ground shark. And uh, still though, you know, really wasn't gaining anything and still was getting into bigger work. So I filled around and found this, you know, bought that Super Track 140 and then sold it and then bought this one I got now. And um, I just don't, I guess I've said all that to say that I just don't enjoy mulching. Uh, it's just a headache, there's a lot of expense, a lot of overhead. Uh, I don't really even like it. I don't really, I wouldn't want it done on my property. And I've had to ask myself, you know, if you don't want it done on your own property, why are you selling it as a service? Uh, if you don't really believe in it yourself. Uh, so I'm not offering it. Uh, I've got my head for sale. It's supposed to be sold this week. If you're watching this and you mulch, um, you know, in your area, it may be a good thing. Uh, it's just not, I should not say that I don't like it. It has its place. Uh, and there's a few guys that follow my channel that do this, that mulch. And, you know, you guys, you keep rocking on with what you're doing. You know, if, you, if, if you're making money at it, like it, and you like it, you know, keep on going, man. Uh, but I mulched a little area out here for me. Just gonna do a little parking pad and I wound up raking all of it up. And I've noticed about 90% of my customers do the same thing. You know, I've never had a complaint. Uh, nobody's ever complained about the, what we've left um, or what I've left. Nobody's ever, nobody's ever said anything, you know, that they wasn't unhappy. But, you know, when they were t you're out there mulching and they're saying, hey, don't worry about getting it too fine. I'm gonna rake it up anyway. You know, they're just concerned, to, concerned about I don't know, they're just gonna rake it up. So why mulch to begin with? Why not just pile it and burn it? You know, you got stumps in the ground left. You've got, um, you know, you've got to deal with that. It's, it's just in my opinion, if you're gonna do anything with your property, um, sometimes it's better just to traditionally clear it. Um, and then, you know, I mean, and like I said, mulching has its place. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's, it's a bad thing, I don't think that. Um, I just think it's not the only way. Um, so, with that being said, we will no longer, or I will no longer be offering forestry mulching. Uh, yesterday would be, will be my last job doing that. I may buy me another cutter, uh, brush cutter, and may do that a little bit, a little mowing work. Uh, we may um, do a lot more bush hogging jobs this year. Um, I want to find me a really nice box blade for this tractor. Um, guys, I mean, I need to, I need to, um, I need to suck the tires in on it a little bit, but, you know, you can really do a lot with a box blade, and this is a pretty cheap thing to run in, in, in reality compared to a, a skidster. I mean, this is a little 50 horse tractor, and, you know, put a box blade behind it and go do a few driveways or, you know, for me, you know, I mean, I'm, guys making a living every day, it might be different, but me doing this part-time, I've got to look at ways I can invest my money that gets the most out of my money. Um, mulching any day, this setup out here could be a catastrophic failure. And any, even though it's all paid off, everything's paid for, this is paid for that, the, the trailer, the skid steer and all, all that's debt free. I don't know on any of it, but you know, I also don't have a huge bank account to make repairs with either. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is any day now I could have an issue that will set me back big time and all of this work that I've done would be erased. And you know, that's just, that's just the game of mulching. It's high risk, it's very high risk. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking about getting into mulching, really do your homework about it. Um, it's just not something that you, you, you see new machines and new dewy trucks and gooseneck trailers running down the road and you know it seems like nowadays that that the uh, 
popular thing to do when you're 16 is get you a diesel truck, and then when you're a little older and you're out of school, go get you a skid steer and a mulching head and go clearing land and doing dirt work and whatnot. And guys, there's just a lot more to it than that. Uh, I don't, I'm not trying to discourage anyone, but I think you should just really do your homework about it. Um, it's not all about show. It's not all about look at me. You know, there's it's work. There's work involved. It's there's risks. There's there's all of that. You know, it's just uh, it's it's a lot of work. So anyway, keep watching my videos. I mean, we're gonna change things up a little bit. Um, I'll probably keep a skid steer around. I might keep this machine around. And again, I may let it go down the road. I may sell it. Um, it depends on what I can get out of it. Like I said, the head. The Dennis Seamoff head is as good as sold. Uh, talked to a guy last night about it, and uh, I actually put the unit up for sale last night, and he contacted me wanting it in the bill of sale and all that. So uh, it's probably as good as gone. Machine, I've got a couple of people interested in it, but I'm just not in a huge hurry to sell it. I've got a few jobs I've got to have a machine on, so I'd rather use my own than rent. Um, if I do buy another machine, it may be, I might buy, I don't know what I'll buy. We might try something different this time. I know the Elite Earthworks and everybody, everybody likes Takahuchi skid steers, and hey, I do too, man. I think they're great machines. Um, I just, uh, I, we might try something a little different. We might try, a, we might try a Bobcat like Rogue Excavating has. All right, by the way, that's a sweet, sweet machine you got there, Rogue Excavating. I, I really like it. Uh, like those side lights and all that. It's a, it's a good looking machine. Uh, hope it serves you well. Uh, we might look at a Bobcat. We might look at a... I really like... Personally, I, I like a Kubota machine. I, I, uh, not for mulching, but for doing general dirt work and all. I, they're comfortable. I kind of like their low center of gravity. You know, you kind of sitting down there low. Uh, just per, That's just personal preference. Um, uh, you're sitting in there low and somebody with bad eyes like me, you can see you can see your grade a little better. It seems to me that way anyway, than being up there high. Um, let's see, I like, I've been on a John Deere a little bit. I like those. Um, I, I don't really have any complaints with any of them. Maybe, I guess my least favorite, and I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy one. I might end up with one, is a Caterpillar. I'm just not a fan of the cab. They're real cramped for me. I feel like I'm just... I'm having a set like this and, you know, all tensed up and I don't don't like that. But, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say I wouldn't own one because I don't know if you guys have noticed, I like to buy and sell and buy and sell. So, uh, anyway, um, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, we, will, we won't be mulching, but we'll be doing other things and it'll be interesting, so keep watching. Uh, uh, hey, we might buy a backhoe, Frank. Digging okay. We might we might get us a backhoe to load dirt with, and who knows? Who knows what we'll do? Uh, I don't really have a map or a plan yet, but I mean, you know, this is this is just my. I guess I'm a hobby guy. I don't know. I I, I enjoy it. I don't really like to hunt or fish or. I, I like fishing, but I, I'm not a hunter. I don't go to ball games. I don't. I don't do a lot of things like that. I don't, I'm not a sports person. I love equipment, and trucks, and tractors, and, and playing music, and that's about it. That's about the long and short of it for me. I'm a pretty simple guy. That and eating good food, and and that's, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. So anyway, uh, if you're into that type of stuff, you'll love my channel, and because that's, that's what I like talk about and that's what I'm interested in so all right guys if you like what you see please comment below uh, if you got a we can start a skid steer suggestion on a new machine for me we want to do dirt work and we want to do brush cutting maybe and um and that's about it we need to be able to load that truck of course and maybe a triaxle in the future um also you know still hadn't ruled out a mini excavator or a midi, mid-size excavator, you know. Uh, this might free us up to, to do a little more, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you've made it through this long rant, thank you. And, all right, have a good one.